Hello everybody, it's the Dark Corfer here, and tonight I figured I would do a different kind of video. I was looking back through all of my videos, going down memory lane and whatnot, and I realised I haven't done a video or talked about my favourite videos that I've made on the channel, so I figured I would give you that today. So without any further ado, here is the Dark Corfer's top 5 favourite videos that I have ever made. Keep in mind this is my own personal opinion, and if you find some videos that I've done better, well that's completely fine, at the end of the day we all have our opinions, so let's stay civil about it. Alright, let's head on to the number 5 spot. Coming in at the number 5 spot, we have the video, We Need To Talk. Now this is probably going to come as a surprise to you guys, and honestly, it came as a surprise for me. One day I was like, I'm going to show my face. It wasn't like no false decision behind the scenes, it wasn't me being dare to do it. I just woke up one morning and was like, screw it, you wanted to see my face? So I might as well show my face in something important. The video was just me asking about if I should continue to do creepypastas. I've come down to a conclusion. I'm going to be doing more other things besides creepypastas, but I'm not giving up on creepypasta content entirely. I'm just going to be mixing up a little, you know. It's to avoid burnout and continue to enjoy what I'm making. All I have to say for this entry. So let's go on to the number four spot. In the number four spot, we have my 100 subscriber special. My god, this brings me back. It still feels like a lifetime ago when I first started the channel. And to think how I got 100 subscribers so quickly still shocks me. Anyways, I can remember wasting away that day just editing that video. It was an hour of content, creepypasta content. I had to find all the pictures, all the stories, narrate all the stories, edit out some of the bloopers because I did get bloopers and whatnot, then edit them all together with some other things here and there. It was just an absolute fuster clock. But I'm very happy with how it turned out. But at the end of the day, that video was only in existence because of you guys. You guys were the one to subscribe and brought me the motivation needed to make that video. So I have to give you all a thank you for that. Anyways, to avoid being too sappy, let's go on to the number 3 spot. Sneaking its way into the number 3 spot, we have the entire Incident series. Obviously this one was going to show up. The Incident was made out of pure passion and love for Five Nights at Treasures Island. Hell, even to this day I still love Five Nights at Treasures Island. I figured nobody had ever done a story about it, and the characters weren't really flushed out. This was before the 2020 or 2021 remake, by the way. So I decided to write it, gave it some very dark endings here and there. Overall though, you guys love the incident for what I've been told, it was the first ever series to properly blow up on my channel. And I enjoyed writing every single bit of it. And I still have one more part left in the works. It's been in development hell for ages. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to finish it, but I'll give it a try guys, don't you worry. Let's go on to the number two spot. We're on easy streets, and it feels so sweet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well anyways, if you couldn't tell by my little singing, in the number two spot we have We're on easy street. The creepypasta version. This was also made out of pure passion, and because I was so bored. Yeah, I spent like, was it four hours on that video? Editing all of the clips together in pure rapid fire. Well, it felt like four hours, it could have easily been less or more, I don't know at this point. I made that out of pure passion, pure funniness, I just wanted to do it because why not? I liked the song Easy Street, even if it was used to torture Daryl from The Walking Dead. Still, I'm very happy with that video and how it came out, and apparently you guys loved it as well, judging by the comments and how everybody tells me it's a good one. 
And yeah, I love this video. Love everything about it. But let's go on to the number one spot. Different is number one. This one has to be number one. I don't care. Simply because this is a video that means an absolute ton to me. That video, pretty much everything in that video is true. It is a non-fiction story. It was exactly what I had to deal with when I was a kid. I was extremely stressed that day and everything and I needed to vent my frustrations and get it out of my head somehow. So different was born. To tell you all the truth, I was very hesitant to release the video, but it was one of the best decisions I've made. Hell, it brought my parents to tears when they first saw it. Not to mention, a lot of people in my comment section are autistic or, or on the spectrum, and they all said it was a very touching tale. And I can't help but thank you all for the support on that video. It just really makes it feel better that I went through all of that, but can still come out of the next door happy and just say that I can deal with all of this. Because you guys help me out with my morality a lot more than you think. Waking up every day to read your comments is a joy to me. Seeing that you're all having a laugh and enjoying yourself is just what keeps me going in this day and age. So yeah, thank you. This has been the video, and I will see you tomorrow for when we do a live stream. It'll probably be The Walking Dead. Alright, take care everybody, and good night.